there's really a level of not listening to women, not listening to the pain that women are feeling. Um, we spend a lot of time encouraging women to speak up, but are we listening? I'm a black woman. I come from a black woman who came from a black woman who came from a black woman and I'm going to give birth to a black woman. As a doula, I support black birth givers for this very reason, to honor, guide, and nurture us along a natural and beautiful process that is meant for us to rejoice and not be clouded by societal barriers. Now let's get started. Black women experience the highest mortality rate when giving birth in our hospital systems because of the systemic racism that exists. Unfortunately, black moms aren't always given the same options in childbirth. They're not always listened to, uh, believed, and so we do have to give a little extra support to our moms who are black. During the postpartum period, there are a lot, there's a lot of natural healing advice and support that doulas offer to mothers. A lot of it consists of teas, herbal teas, resting, which is very natural for us, consuming wholesome, nutritious foods. During the pandemic, there has been a huge demand for doula support, mainly because during the height of the pandemic, extra family members, loved ones, and friends were not allowed in the hospitals anymore, and they only allowed a loved one and a doula, a professional doula, and we had to prove that we were professional doulas uh, by showing our certifications. And so that was different. Because of this change in the hospital system, more families begin to understand the importance of doula support during a birth. And so now we have a very high demand. We don't have enough doulas, actually. If a mom is having multiple babies at once, she definitely wants to create a nice, strong support system. Uh, all moms deserve that, but definitely with more than one baby, you want to have multiple loved ones or professionals, doulas, uh, to come in and, and help you through that. So if a mom is uh, expecting multiples, she should be aware of the protocols in the medical system, that's number one. Most likely she'll be encouraged to have a C-section and that is the most important piece of information that they should um, have when, ex when expecting with multiples so that they can figure out which providers and which birth location will support the type of birth they want. If they want to have a vaginal birth with multiple babies, they can, but they need to figure out where those unicorn providers are. And a lot of times you can find this information through a doula in the hopes that a mom is able to have a full-term pregnancy and not be induced with multiples. It's best to birth, plan to birth her babies just like she would plan to birth one baby. And that means, you know, in a supportive environment, listening to her body, changing positions, pushing however she chooses, wherever she chooses to. And the only difference in birthing multiples is that after you get the first baby out, you want to brace yourself to push out the second. Partners can offer support to their partner giving birth by loving on them, feeding them, keeping them hydrated, just being like a solid rock for them, being that grounded force for the mom to lean on them, the partner should hold them, rock them, keep them warm when they're cold, you know, give them encouraging affirmations and guidance just by showing them that they're positive and they're there. The moment a baby comes out as a doula, 
I take a picture <laughs> for the family and I allow them to have that moment. We encourage immediate skin to skin. Baby should go directly to mom. And so if we have supportive providers, they're already doing that. But as a doula, we always we have our eyes open so that we can jump in and advocate whenever is necessary. And so I do um, at times have to advocate for baby to be put on mom. And we encourage, you know, just mom and baby enjoying that transitional moment. We encourage one hour at least uh, of uninterrupted skin to skin. And we decline, we help families decline all of the unnecessary procedures and things that they want to do to a baby when they come out. The advocacy support does extend after the baby is born. The other most important thing is to encourage and help the baby to latch and breastfeed to get that colostrum, which is the liquid gold. A family can hire a doula at any time in their journey into parenthood. I personally have sometimes had families reach out to me before they're expecting and just preparing for the pregnancy that, that they are hoping for soon. But also families have discovered late in their pregnancy that they want a doula and I've had families hire me at the very last minute, a week before they're expecting. Families can also hire a doula after the baby's born. So doulas can work with a family anywhere from conception, or preconception, pre until the baby is, typically we do until three months old. Mm -hmm.